Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you press subscribe and you press the bell. Um, welcome! This video is going to be a little different than my normal videos. I feel like um, I always kind of come in here being myself, you know, with such like a positive energy and things like that. I don't really want this video to be a little negative, but I feel that it is something that I've addressed a lot on Instagram and I've never addressed it on YouTube. So I kind of wanted to um, just make a video about it, like really addressing like the people who come to me or come on my page or things like that and just like post negative things or say certain things that I just feel I need to address. Okay, so let's get into it. which kind of pisses me off is when they talk about you know me traveling now if you guys have been on my channel or followed my journey on Instagram if you're not following me make sure you follow me at Jules on the Run um, or even anywhere else you guys know that I started this journey from traveling I've been traveling now since 2014 um, and I started filming my travels, um, eight months ago, I think, eight months ago. And, but before then, I had just been traveling and just taking photos, um, and posting it on Instagram or not even Instagram, posting it on like Facebook for my friends and family. So I've been traveling a lot. The footage that I have for uh, YouTube has been Jamaica and Zimbabwe and of course now Tanzania. But before then, I had been to over 15 countries and I didn't get anything on film. So a lot of people, a lot of haters have been like, oh, like she's just, she's, like, she's traveling around the world. And, and they, they mention a lot of like, uh, my sponsors and people who have, you know, reached out to me, um, like DJ Khaled and these things, and a lot of it doesn't make sense to me because I'm like, okay, as a logical person, if you think with your head, um, I've been traveling for years now, for years, <laughs> so how could I possibly be using sponsors money and all this stuff to support my traveling when I've been traveling before any of this happened like it just doesn't make any sense to me and traveling to places like Australia which is super expensive completely overrated guys like super expensive not even places like Tanzania where it's super cheap so it really doesn't make any sense to me and it really pisses me off honestly it really pisses me off because I feel people who speak about me have not done their thorough research they don't know I have an education they don't know I've been working for years they don't know that I've been saving for this for four years they don't watch my videos because if they watch my videos they would see how I support myself because I rent out my home that I used to live in and I get rental income and that helps support me and my baby like they don't really thoroughly like before you speak about someone you should thoroughly do research on them before you start flapping at the mouth like seriously it's annoying it's super annoying and I'm honestly sick of it um part of me feels like it's a lot of my ex because he's my biggest hater he's always been my biggest hater everything that I do even when we were in a relationship he completely put it down and didn't support anything so 100% I think it's him creating fake accounts and saying these negative comments but if it's not I want to just completely make it clear um, any sponsorship money that is for 
students that like the GoFundMe and things like that completely go to students. I keep a record of everything. I have receipts. I completely do everything. Now, I did get a comment that I would like to address. The person said, you got, what, $1,200 on um, GoFundMe. Why don't you just write out that check and give it to the orphanage or give it to the school? And I just want to address that because I think it's a very important question. Um, and I think that I'm going to give you guys like transparency. So the reason, it's very easy and it makes it much easier for my life to just cut out the check and just give it to them. Absolutely. Here is the problem with that. The problem with that is that everybody is not genuine. Okay? You guys can give all this money to support and all this stuff and then I and then I can give it to them and then the students will never see it. Listen, I grew up in the foster care system in New York. I know more than anybody else that the money that you taxpayers get, us foster kids did not get it. Absolutely did not. Barely had a shirt to put on our back. All that money, we did not get. So for me, I am hands on. You give me a donation I want to go out there and make sure that that particular child school fees are paid that particular child has a uniform that particular child has books has food has this because that's exactly what you put your money on and the issue is is that let's just say I write out a check for $500 and I say hey here orphanage here's five, a $500 check maybe $200 of that is gonna go to the students and then the rest of it is going to go in their pockets. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's corruption. Corruption is everywhere. It happens all the time. It happens in New York with our taxes. It happens all the time. And I don't want to, I, I know my mission, and my mission is to go to those students. And it is not to sit here and su support the owner. And let me tell you something. Actually, in Tanzania, there, it's, a, it's a serious business. Orphanages that are just orphanages just so that they can get Western people money. And I'm just not gonna allow that. I I'm just not gonna do it. So you, that's why you guys see in the video, like I buy school supplies, anything that it is that they need, like listen, the orphanage guy tells me like they need food, they need books, they need supplies, they need book bags, they need coal to, to start cooking, she needs chicken. Then I go out there myself, with that sponsored money and I go buy it and give it to them. Why? Because if I just sit here and say, i give you an example. He said, uh, they say they need coal, maybe like a hundred US dollars, but then coal really is like $40. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's because a lot of people just want to pocket the money because everybody is going through a struggle. Everybody has their own situation and stuff like that. And a lot of people, this is how they make a living. And it's not what I stand for. Please, if you want, you can gladly donate to uh, the what, American Hunger and all of this stuff, which we all know 1% of that money goes towards American Hunger and the rest of it goes into the CEO's pocket. So... Um, I've said numerous a time I am not a nonprofit. I don't know how many times. Maybe in the future I will go into a nonprofit. It's very difficult for me to kind of uh, decide because I feel like you know I try to do something good and I'm getting backlash because of it because people feel like I'm not doing it their way. Mind you, these people they're not doing anything. So because I'm not doing it their way. Um, I'm getting criticism because of it. I'm also, you know what, for one criticism, I am getting a lot of support. So I can't just just focus on the criticism. Like, I do get a lot of support, and I appreciate you guys who do support me. But when you get criticism, it kind of, like, discourages you from doing what it is that you want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, so for me, I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to focus on the traveling part. Everything else that I do for people and all this, I'm not gonna record it. Like I'll give you an example, I was out on lunch and I seen an absolute beautiful family, mom, dad, kids and stuff like that. It looked like it was the girl's graduation. I paid for the whole bill. I don't feel the need to record these things to inspire other people because all I'm gonna do is get backlash. So it makes me feel like, okay, I'm gonna do this 
But I'm gonna do this on my own. If you guys don't want it on camera, then fine. I won't give it to you on camera. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's it's a it's a thing that I fight with myself all the time, which is why you see on Instagram I um, post more travel content now than anything else because when I was when I was posting the content with my students and all this stuff, like I got a lot of support, but I also got a lot of haters. And I don't want the haters to stop me from being my true authentic self, but I also just don't want to deal with that. Honestly, like I don't want to deal with that. And it's funny because I spoke to one of my celebrity friends and I asked him and I said, listen, I don't understand, how can you have such a big platform and you can have all this money and you don't help people? Like, I, I just don't get it. And he was like, let me tell you something. He was like, it's not that I don't want to help people. The problem is, is that when you help people, other people think, oh, why is he helping people? What's the motive? Da -da 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 -da. What is he getting out of this? And people just complain. They would just complain. You are doing something good. You are doing something that you think God is telling you to do. And then people just complain. And then it discourages people from doing it is what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people would help more if people were more accepting to it. Not everybody does things for a reason. You know what I'm saying? People just do things out of the kindness of their heart. And if people supported that, or people patted that more on the back, or people really like, just stop being such haters and just like taking the negativity out of something so positive, then maybe people would help more. Do you know what I'm saying? And then it's opposite. Because how many celebrities do you see on their Instagram where they don't do anything and people just sit there and it's like, you got all this money and you don't do anything, you don't help hunger, there are people out here who are dying, there are people who are da 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 But then when they do do it, you criticize it to the point where they don't want to do it. So uh, I just wanted to address that. I wanted to address why I move the way I move, why I do things the way I do things, and um, that is the honest, real reason. It really is, truly. Um, I started recording these things because um, I wanted to, there's but so much I can do. I wanted to inspire you guys. I wanted to do something nice for somebody. Put a smile. There's too much negativity in this world. There's so much things happening, so much war, so much this, so much that. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be able to put a smile on someone else's face and to make them happy and to, for the little bit that, the little bit that you can do can truly make a difference in someone else's life. And I film some of these things because I want you to go out in your neighborhood, wherever it is that you are, and do something nice for somebody. Just be selfless. You, there, there, there needs to be no reason. There needs to be anything. If God tells you, if you're, or if you don't believe in God, if your heart tells you to do something kind for someone else, then do it. It doesn't have to be something major. You don't need to go buy someone a house. Do you know what I'm saying? But just like treating them to a meal, or just something that can uplift their spirit is what we need in the world. And um, it really sucks that um, my kindness has really uh, been twisted and, and, and all of this stuff. And with that being said, I have told myself that after this, I'm no longer going to address it. If you're going to come on my profile, on my Instagram, on my YouTube or anything like that, and you're going to say something disgusting and negative especially when you've done no research of me you're just gonna get blocked so don't waste your time I'm not gonna deal with it I'm not gonna tolerate disrespect because at the end of the day I'm still a New York chick and I don't play that and I'm just not I'm just not gonna allow it so uh, I'm sorry guys that this video was so like negative more than I usually am but I do feel like it it is super important for me to address and for me to put out there. Uh, but I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.